Hello, my friends. Welcome to my weekly ETF report. This is Doug Fabian. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2015. Thank you for joining me today. As we discuss each and every week, three topics to help you understand what's going on in the financial markets and move forward on your individual investment goals. Just wanted to give you on topic number one, an update on how the financial markets are doing so far in the month of April. April has been a strong month for stocks. Here in the United States, the indices from the Dow to small cap stocks, NASDAQ, they're up about one to 3%. Looking internationally, things get better. The domestic, the, excuse me, the developed markets, Europe, Japan, Australia, Canada, those markets are up four to 5% in three weeks. Now, where the real action has been is the emerging markets. The emerging markets, which were lagging in the first quarter, have come on strong here in the month of April. Emerging market indexes up 9% so far this month, and China up 15% <clears throat> just in the month of April. So there's a lot of good action going on in the financial markets. I hope you're participating. Fixed income, slightly negative in the month. Not a lot happening in the fixed income arena, but fixed income is still very positive on a year to date basis. Now let's move on to item number two, and here we are in the month of April. We just completed tax season. Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy how much money you paid on your taxes in 2014? Well, probably not, but taxes can be managed and you cannot manage taxes for last year in this year. This year is where you have to do some tax planning. And I'm going to be doing a lot more in my weekly videos on taxes in the weeks ahead. But let me just talk about the obvious. The most obvious way, if you are working, if you are earning a paycheck, is to contribute to a qualified retirement plan, especially if your company has some sort of matching. So this is just an absolute must. Now, I believe that the absolute best long-term tool for your retirement is a Roth IRA. And if you qualify, and there are income limitations regarding Roth IRAs, you definitely should contribute to a Roth if you're making, I believe the number is 180,000 a year or less. If you are retired, you might want to consider a Roth conversion of your existing IRA assets. So I'll leave you with one final word on taxes. It's all about planning. And if you don't have a clear picture on what your taxes are going to look like this year, then you need to get that clear picture by meeting with a qualified professional. Now, let me give you a hint. If you're getting a large tax refund, you're doing a lousy job of tax planning. Large tax refund, I'm talking a refund in excess of $1,000, is an indication you've had too much money withheld from your taxes and you're letting the government use your money. Dumb, 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 dumb. So let's get in the game here and try to do a better job with our taxes. Finally, in April, we of course have the first quarter of 2015 behind us. We're into 2015, excuse me, we're into this year. And one of the things that I talked about at the beginning of the year on how I believe that international markets were going to be much better performers than domestic. Well, certainly that has been the case so far this year. So one of the adjustments that you could have made over the last few weeks is adding to your international exposure. So I, I got to tell you, when it comes to your asset allocation and your fund selection and buying new exchange traded funds, it is all about taking action. Now I can give you information and I can give you knowledge and that's what we try to do at ETFU.com, but it is up to you to take action. Action is the most important element in moving towards your long-term financial goals. So get off your butt and get going, get some things done. This is Doug Fabian. Thanks so much for joining me today.